So we've got these incredible next-gen consoles with the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, right? That are so powerful and they're capable of amazing things. And then you've got the Switch, which is like pretty much a dinosaur in comparison. It is an ancient relic of the past at this stage. But it has a 120 million plus install base. So companies want their games on that system mm -hmm. because they're going to sell copies. How does that work? The games suffer. Yeah, in, in short, it, it doesn't. Mm. Not really. It doesn't really work, exactly. But how bad is it really? Because sometimes it's hard to know until you actually spend like $100 on the game. So what we did is spend $100 on the game twice mm. for you. Yeah, you know it. One on the PS5, one on the Nintendo Switch so that we can compare them and tell you, you know, really if the Switch version is worth getting at all. So we got home with both of our copies of Mortal Kombat 1 and straight up booted up the PS5 version after downloading for like hours because that seems like commonplace with games these days. Why do we still buy physical media when it's not even on the disc? That's a whole nother conversation. This game slaps, dude. It on does. the PS5 it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. It runs so smooth. Smooth. And also, it's just heaps of fun. Yeah, it is. It is classic, silly, brutal Mortal Kombat. Mm -hmm. It is the Metalocalypse of video games. If that means anything to anyone, I love you. Thank you for being awesome. <laughs> Call me if it does. So basically, we loved it. Mm -hmm. We spent three or four hours couple of versus each other fights, yep. a bunch of story, we just sat down and passed the controller and played it. The story's my favourite part. I agree, mm. which is weird because, I mean, it's a fighting game. Most fighting games fans just want to fight people on the interwebs. Right, or couch co-op or something, but yeah. I found that the story mode is a really good way to get to know different characters that you wouldn't Absolutely. play with otherwise, because everyone has their favorites when it comes to fighting games. You know, you've got your main, but the story mode helps you like branch out a little bit. I agree. Learn some new combos. And it really sets Mortal Kombat apart from its peers as well. Mm. The story mode is where it shines brightest in comparison to something like Street Fighter or Tech. Then the next day, all hyped up from our beautiful experience the night before, we are plugged in the Switch version, which you do need an SD card for, quick FYI. There is that much of a download that you 100% need an SD mm -hmm. card for it. Another long download. One long download later. Followed by immense disappointment. <laughs> Actually, okay, no, so we started with the story mode and we were like, you know, it's not so bad. Yeah, the first cutscene, we were like, obviously visual cuts. Yeah. Obvious, we expected that. It was obviously 720p. Yep, it looked a little bit muddy. Yeah. The character models weren't as great, but nothing unexpected. Yeah. It just seemed like a lower quality version of the same game. It was totally doable. But then we continued playing with the story and it really became apparent how... <laughs> how much they had to cut back on, let's put it that way. The cutscenes started like not working very well. Like they were skipping, stopping, starting. The audio would cut out mm. every now and then. Every now and then the quality would drop down to like, I don't know, 480p or something. Yeah, we found the cutscenes were extremely inconsistent. That's the word I was looking for, yeah. So there's some of them look really good, like the first one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good work making the first one look good. But then <laughs> subsequent ones on. just... Nah. And sometimes it would go back up to the quality of the first one and, yeah. and be doable. But other times they just... Drop down again. Skip and, and drop. The worst skipping that I noticed is that just before you get into a fight scene when you're in the story mode, it it has a very smooth transition from cutscene into fight scene. Sometimes it happens like in the middle of a sentence. And mm -hmm. on the PS5 version, I didn't actually notice that because it was so, such a smooth experience. Yeah, it's in literally general. like, do you want to fight? Go. 
Yeah. Yeah. And it was it was perfect. It worked great. But with the yeah. Switch version, <laughs> do you want a loading screen? Loading screen. Yeah, for like ten seconds, and oh, then like thirty <laughs> seconds. Yeah, that's tr probably true. I. Yeah. Mid sentence. Mm. It was a bit weird. Before I put you down like the rest of your Lin Kuei. You haven't. Prayer against the Lin Kuei's grandmaster. Fight. It definitely um drew you out of the experience a little bit. Yeah, very non-immersive. Yeah. Which is a shame because that transition between cutscenes and the action of the fights is flawless on the PS5 mm -hmm. and it's honestly one of the best things about the game yeah. is that it just runs and runs. There's yeah. no loading time at all. No, it just it just happens. It's great. Now we haven't even talked about the fights because before we experience any of this cutscene nonsense, uh -huh. we obviously had our first fight. And this is where we really notice that it takes a bit of a visual hit. The backgrounds in the fights are, I mean, they're not like the worst thing I've ever seen, but that it's just a clear drop in quality. I also noticed the character models take a mad hit. Mm. And I think this is part of the problem of the, the cutscene to fight. The cutscenes, they're working on these character models that for the most part are pretty okay for the Switch. Yeah. And then you get into the fight and the character models just drop in quality mm. hard. You can see those rough edges of the outlines. Yeah. People's hair is just one solid Flat. brick. Mm -hmm. There's no textures. There's no like dynamic moving parts in the background. There'll just be an NPC in the background like frozen there the whole time. It's just inconsistent. Yeah. Which is a real shame because if the story mode stuck with our initial impressions of, oh, actually, this is pretty all right. Mm -hmm. We would have given this section of the game a solid seven, maybe yeah. eight. Yeah. You know? At the very beginning, it wasn't too it bad. It was looking promising. But from there, load times, quality drops all over the place, mm -hmm. inconsistent cutscenes, skipping. <laughs> Sorry, but the experience is like a four or five. Yeah, it kind of brought it down to... But it is doable. It is playable. The story mode is playable. So if, if you're only planning on getting this and playing the solo version just on your own, you'll have an okay time. But you may have noticed we have not talked about arguably the biggest aspect of a fighting game. Mm-hmm. The fights with real people. Versus mode. Couch co-op. Or online. Or online, yeah. It's worse <sighs> than the story. It's trash, dudes. It is utter garbage. It's crazy. I was expecting the verses to be better than the story. I was like, if it's going to suffer anywhere, it's going to be with these cutscenes, right? But I was so wrong. I would say that the versus mode is almost unplayable, honestly. And it's really obvious straight off the bat because when you are choosing your character, it oh takes God. a solid 15 to 20 seconds for that character to then appear on screen. Mm -hmm. You might have already selected your character, both of you moved on to selecting your second fighter, helper, whatever they're called. And you've still got some random ass dude. Or not or nothing. Or nothing even there at all. So that's red flag number one. Yeah. Number two is the loading times come into it again. In the real version of this game. That's what I'm gonna start referring to as the PS5 version. Ooh. In the real version, you both select a character. It zooms in on their faces and then it zooms straight back out again and you're there fighting in whatever map mm -hmm. you have chosen. The fight is on. On the Switch mm. version though, they're, st they're like <laughs> doing this for a laughable amount of time. Like can you imagine if we just stood here like this for the next 30 seconds? How awkward was that? That's what it feels like. It's arguably not even the worst part because then when you are fighting against a friend in co-op 
just on the co-op couch co-op at the moment mm -hmm. 380p yeah maybe max at times it just dies hard and it's really inconsistent again like the frame rate so you almost don't really know when to attack or when your attack's gonna land because like sometimes it's fast sometimes it's slowed way down right it lags pretty hard too i feel like a fighter is kind of in the same league as like a first person shooter where you really want the performance to run smoothly and consistently because or else you've really got no hope consistency is the key mm. we never expected the switch to run 4k 60. no honestly give us a solid 720 25 frames per second 20 frames per second as long as it's consistent if it was we can yeah. work with it if it was always slow i would get used to that mm -hmm. but it's just that it would constantly be changing so it was yeah none of it was predictable you know and then the online matches we played one yeah i played it laura didn't want to play it because <laughs> it just looked so freaking bad everything we said about the couch co-op versus take that times it by like five or ten mm -hmm. and you've got your online mode like i'm talking maybe 10 frames per second at times this thing tanked hard yeah it seemed like it was happening in slow motion yeah the fight did seem like it was happening in slow motion it was just unplayable really especially if you want to rank up like you've just there's not really much hope on the switch version of this game mortal kombat 1 is not cross-platform and honestly thank god if people were playing online on the switch against people on the ps5 they would just have absolutely no hope zero chance so at least it's fair across the board and mm. everyone's going to be experiencing these same issues at least your opponent is also having terrible quality but just don't do it yeah but there's always hope you know that there's going to be patches and updates to improve the switch version in fact the developers have already said they're going to fix the switch version which i guess is a good thing but i just really hope they prioritize things like frame rate and mm -hmm. dips in quality rather than trying to get those crisp well, visuals or it's something. just not gonna happen yeah. we're okay with all the muddy cutscenes. that's fine we just want it to run properly yeah. or and consistently if, at least even if it's consistently bad unfortunately we can't recommend mortal kombat one on the switch for that simple reason yeah that one of the main draws to fight is honestly the draw for probably 90 percent of us we understand where the outliers who like the story mm. you can't do it no you just can't do it and it is a real shame because we do genuinely really really enjoy mortal kombat 1 on the ps5 <laughs> one quick little other thing to note this is a 70 dollars game remember when everyone was complaining that tears of the kingdom was 70 us dollars well guess what baby this piece of trash is also 70 us dollars WTF. Well, hopefully we've saved you some money if you were planning on going out to buy the Switch version of Mortal Kombat. Maybe don't bother. If we did help you save some money, let us know below and don't forget to subscribe when you're there. Maybe Roundhouse kick the subscribe button in the face. Laura just tried to do a Roundhouse kick. It was... It was I'm wearing a skirt, Oh, okay? why? Excuses.